Good morning YouTube, it's Carla here with um, Stanton Shenanigans and today we're going to try the DAP meal that was sent to me by Tracy Phillips. Um, it's a morning uh, breakfast menu so um, it is breakfast time at my house so <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and, and get it and um, not a sponsor but uh, I had to have my husband stop and get me a latte this morning because I was in desperate need of uh, a lot of caffeine. <laughs> so anyway Without further ado, let's see what's in this little ration. There isn't a pull net, a pull. I mean, I guess it is, but oh yeah, it does pull. Let's see. There is easy open. I don't have a lot of hand strength, so it's hard to have that with ah, rheumatoid arthritis. So anyway, I think I got the darn thing. <laughs> Well, and I'm going to have it on my Minotaur Trading Company tray. Again, not a sponsor. Hashtag, not a sponsor. If you guys watch Mi Good Mythical Morning, you'll get that joke because they say that quite often. And that's one of my favorite shows to watch on YouTube. Okay, so let's see what we got here. We have an isotonic drink, which is pineapple flavor. I'm not too crazy about these, and I'm going to save this to probably give it away to somebody or my husband will take it to work and he'll fix it for himself. And then we have some coffee. Feels like it might be a little hard. I'm not sure. But uh, I'll try that later on since I've already got a coffee. You guys have seen people drink the instant coffee a hundred times and honestly it's no different than any other time of someone drinking the coffee. So. And I'm sure it's really good. I've had a, a DAF coffee before, so um, it was sent to me in miscellaneous thing. And what is this? Oh, we have granola. So this would probably be our cereal for breakfast. Oh, it's upside down. It would help. My glasses that I have on are for distance only. I broke my other glasses that have bifocals. So if you see me looking underneath, it's because I can't see anything close up with these on. They're just for distance only. And I become blind and, you know, as far as literally not being able to see close up anymore either. So anyhow, this has an expiration of December 2022 and it's granola. So we'll see if that's something I have to heat up or something like that. Because there is a flameless ration heater in here. These are these um, big crackers. There's some nutrition information on that if you want to pause that and see. And then we have peaches on syrup. Again, I probably uh, will leave this for my husband to try because it's a lot of sugar and I have to be very careful with eating a lot of sugar because um, I had weight loss surgery 17 years ago and I used to weigh 400 pounds. And so um, I have to be really careful with sugar and this whole thing contains, holy crud, I can't see it. It says 35 grams of sugar, I would pass out if I ate that much sugar at one time. So, plus I'm drinking coffee that has a little sugar in it. So, I try to really watch my sugar intake. And then this is, I have no idea, but it feels like it's that berries jam possibly. You know, they have the jam and you break your cookies up in it. CT did that on his channel and he broke the cookies up in it and it looked really good. And I bet this probably doesn't have a lot of sugar in it. I know the little crackers are really good and they don't have a lot of sugar in them. They literally have six grams of sugar for one cookie, so I think I can handle that. But this, I believe, is the berries, the berries jam. It in no way represents any type of jam that I've ever known. It's like a syrup, basically, with mixed berries in it. So, But we'll try it and see. There is a flameless ration heater. Um, I honestly have no idea why they would put a flameless ration heater in here. I guess unless, oh, excuse me, unless you wanted to maybe take your granola and put the water in it and then maybe warm it up in here, but honestly, I'm not going to need to do that. Um, so what we'll do is we'll open up the granola and see if it is something that I literally will warm up or just eat. If you eat it, I'm, I'm not really sure. I've never had their granola before, so... We're in this together. And then, of course, the coffee. I showed you that. And then they have the accessory pack. We have the Daft Spoon Sport Combination. We have sugar, a napkin, salt. 
I honestly have no idea what you would need salt for with oatmeal, but but hey, this is the um, accessory pack, and I'm just going to hang on to this. I'm not going to open it up because I have my um, uh, foreignmre.com fork sport here somewhere. Somewhere on my table there is a sport, but you need here. So let's um, let's open up this granola. It has a tear notch up here on the top, so I'm not really sure how they. Let's see if we can hear his. Ah, I didn't hear one. Maybe the camera picked it up. But it's like filled to the top here. There we go. Now we can squish it down in the bottom here. And it looks like... It really just looks like granola cereal. Like what you would get... Um, I'll just put it right on here on the... It looks like a granola type cereal, like a muesli. Um, yeah, we'll look at it down here. Yeah, see? It just looks like a muesli. And here I'll taste it. Sorry, my camera is just, it's my phone and it's on a doggone really wobbly thing. Now, Kristen, you can't have this. I'm sorry, buddy. So what we're going to do is I'm going to do some tasting of it. I really like granola. I don't eat a lot of cereal because I don't like milk. Um, but when I do drink milk, it's lactose-free and fat-free. And it's literally, my, my husband literally calls it water milk. He's like, why aren't you drinking whole milk? I just don't like milk. So, sorry. I'm just not a milk person. But so we'll try it. I'm going to try a little bite. It looks really good. It smells good. It just smells like granola and raisins. So let's taste it. It's very hard. And these are not my teeth too yet, so these are just my looking teeth. I ain't got my fancy eating teeth yet. But really, I'm good. Mm. That's better. Um, it's very hard to eat, so I would say probably put put something in it. Hey, you guys. Where are you barking at? The mailman already came. What are you barking at? Aw, sorry, buddy. Well, Christian's upset about something. He must have heard some dogs next door outside barking. So Christian is my bigger dog, and then my bulldog's name is Sophie. And she's running around crazy. When he goes crazy, she goes crazy. If somebody knocks on the door, they lose their flipping minds. So... All right, this is the jam. So we're gonna go ahead and put this in the, I know, buddy, but you can't have this, okay? It's not for doggies. No hiss on this either, but it's definitely the berries jam. And what I'll do is I'll break up one of these cookies and put in it, or I'm gonna put some of the granola in it too. I believe I remember, if I, if I remember correctly, my memory is not always the best, but, I believe that Deb C put his granola in it, and so did Steve, 1989. So, um, and everybody knows Steve and, and Deb C, but I can always link their channels down below if you like, and I, I will be linking uh, Tracy's channel down below. And the coffee, like I said, I'm not going to try right now. So that's just I'm just using this as a bag for trash. You know what? I think I am going to go ahead and open up this sport thing because I can't find my other one and. I don't feel like getting up and getting one, so there we go. We'll just use this, and I'm gonna try. I still have that stuff. I'm still trying to chew because it's very, very, very hard. And if you put, put, you know, your your uh, syrup and stuff in it, it would be good. So what I'm gonna do? Let me put my camera down this way, so you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay, let's try these. I'm gonna. Just try them by themselves first. You guys can see that. I'm gonna try a little bit. Oh my god, that's fabulous. That's really good. It's not real sweet. It's not real sweet at all, and it's super good. I would love to have this in my granola. In fact, I'm gonna put a little in here. See, it's all over my spoon, and I'm making a mess everywhere. <laughs> Mm, that really does taste so good. That's really yummy. 
Now we'll try one of these big old honkin crackers. I need to wipe the jam up off of my table before it gets all over my shirt. I don't like my Led Zeppelin shirts getting messed up because, yeah, you don't mess with Led Zeppelin. I'm a big Zeppelin fan, sorry. <laughs> okay, these are our big crackers. So let's see what they look like. See if we can hear a hiss on this one. Here's the tear notch. Um, the nutrition information is kind of wiped out on it, but again, if you guys want to look at that, that's fine. Let's see if we hear a hiss. Ooh, that was a good one. That was a really good hiss. I like that. Okay. And this is what the crackers look like. It's kind of taken on the same shape of the of the bag. Um, it was really fresh, I guess, when it was put in here. Like CT had one, too, that did that. So that's really neat. So I'm going to take a, a little bite of it. I just took a little piece off of it, and let's taste it. Oh, yeah. That's really good. Yeah, that's really good. I like that. I'm going to put it in this stuff here. I'm going to kind of pass on the granola because it's just hard for me to eat. But for tasting purposes, we did. Now, I'm going to do a taste of this cookie or cracker in this berries jam and try it. Oh, mm -hmm. It tastes like you're eating a berry flavored cobbler, basically, like if you're eating a blueberry cobbler because it's very blueberry tasting, which I love blueberries, so this is very, very good. And it's not real sugary either. I think I'd be safe eating that with, you know, the rest of the meal. So um, let's go ahead and I'll open up the peaches just to see what they look like, and then when Rich and Andrea get home, they can, they can try it. Um, Andrea likes peaches, I believe. She's allergic to a lot of fruits, so I have to be real careful with her. I'm allergic to strawberries, and that's it, but I eat them anyway. I don't care. And that's probably why my face is broke out, because I eat strawberries and stuff that I'm not supposed to sometimes, but I can't get this open, so we'll just use our little friend here as a reminder that I can open it up. Oh, boy. These peaches are some... Very dark peaches. Let's just get them here. That's the peaches. Okay. I'm going to try just a little bite of them. They, they look just like they're just older, that's all. But they really aren't. This is a fresh, fresh uh, menu. Mmm. They're really good. They are sweet. Very sweet. But man, those are really good. So... That's pretty much it, guys. I'm not going to open the coffee. Like I said, you guys have seen people drink a ton of coffee. And they come with two two coffees, actually. That's cool. I didn't realize they had two coffees. But there are two coffees here. And then there are like four sugars. And then the big old pineapple drink. I'm going to let my husband have that because it's probably really too sweet for me. And I'm not crazy about isotonic drinks. But I do like the different flavors. I take a drink of them and then I give them the rest to him. But usually he just takes them to work. So anyway, that's that's pretty much um, everything that was in the, the menu. It was a little breakfast menu. Very delicious. The granola is really, really good. In fact, it tasted really good in the berries jam. And I think it would probably be really good in the um, peaches as well. So, you know, you could soften it up with that to eat it better if you wanted to. Um, other than that, that's, that's basically all I have for you guys today. If we have a little shenanigan that comes out later today, we might. But uh, tomorrow, my husband and I and my best friend Jill that you guys saw in the video the other day, we're going to go to Mocan Dragway, and it is the Spring National Hot Rod um, uh, thing that they have. They have it every year, and it's going to be almost 80 degrees, so we're going to be watching some drag racing tomorrow. And I'll film a little bit because we really enjoy the drag racing and I like to watch all the Mopar cars because I'm a Mopar girl. So I used to be a Mustang girl. I had a Mustang at one time, but now I like I like Mopar. So anyway, if you guys like the video, please give me a like. Um, if you didn't like the video, you can always dislike as well. It's really okay. But it just puts us in the algorithm for YouTube. So a like is great. A comment would be even better. Um, if you guys have anything that you would like me to try, 
um, put it down in the comments. Hit me up on email if you have something that you would like me to uh, try on my channel for you. I'd be more than happy to do that. Um, just know that I'm allergic to strawberries. That's pretty much it. But uh, other than that, you guys have a great day. Like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell whenever you guys know I drop another video. Have yourselves a wonderful day. Have a wonderful weekend, and we'll catch you on the next video when we're at the drag races. Bye for now.